you can start the review from several places. The first place is here from the uh, candidate overview list on the vacancy. So I'm in my customer success manager easy group vacancy and I now can select the candidate which I would like to have reviewed. I can do so by clicking on the candidates checkbox right here and then clicking on share for team review. That's the first way. The second way is by clicking on the candidate name when you happen to be in the Canada profile, you can start the team review here from the bottom by clicking on share for team review. When you do that, the following overlay window opens up. If you selected multiple candidates, you can see which candidates you have selected. Please note that all the attachments will be shared with the reviewer and the reviewer can write, rate and comment and suggest a next step for this candidate. The next thing we do is select the reviewer. So I can do so by filling out an email address. My reviewer will be Stephen Rogers. He go, he's going to review this candidate. You click add to add a reviewer and you can add multiple reviewers by adding another email address and clicking on the add button again. Next thing you have to do is select a due date. So by what date should the review be completed? You can select a date from the calendar and please note that you can select a maximum date of two weeks in the future. So today is the 14th and it, the last day I can select is the 28th of July. When you scroll down, you can see the email that will be sent to the reviewer, including the button to go to the review platform. At this point, you cannot edit the email templates that will be added later. For now, I have completed all the steps and I can click share. In the right top corner here, you'll see a confirmation message that says that the reviews have been shared successfully. The next step that we're going to do is I'm going to pretend I am Steven Rogers and I'm going to open up the review in the review platform. This is the inbox of Stephen Rogers, and as you can see, he has received an email to review an applicant. If you click on the email, you'll see that text is visible right here, and you can click to go to the review platform. Or alternatively, you can just copy and paste this link. I have now opened up the uh, review platform, and I can log in as being Stephen Rogers. So the first thing I do is enter my email address, and I can save it for the next time if you'd like. Click Next. I fill in my password and then I have to enter the six digit code from my authenticator app. And you can remember the device for 30 days so you don't have to enter the code every time. The next thing the system will do is log me into the review platform which the main page can be seen right here. So what can you do on this page? First of all, if you'd like to know a little bit more about it, you can click the how-to guide, which will explain to you the three steps that you need to do, being reading the applications, providing the review, and send the review back so the recruiter can process the application. The next thing you can do is have a look at the actual vacancy ad. You may have forgotten what the points in the vacancy were, what we're looking for, so you can click on that, and then the vacancy ad will open up in a standard format so you can see the text and read up on the qualifications for this candidate. All right, so I've remembered what I'm looking for. Now I can have a look at the different candidates. So you can click on a candidate's name and then a similar page will open up as the candidate profile page in the system, but this one is just only in the review portal. So on this page, I have everything available that I need to assess the candidate. So I can open up the CV file, have a look right here. I can open up the cover letter, have a look at the cover letter, or I can do this in the screen, go to the next document if you'd like. I can have a look at any other attachments that have been added. So let's have a look at the certificate. All right, let's have a look at another diploma right here. And I can review all other questions. So if I added a question about a video, why you're suitable for this vacancy. Watch the video. And here at the bottom, I can open up, if added in the application form, all the parsed information from the CV being work experience, language, and the education of the candidate. So now I have all the information that I can review and um, form an opinion of this candidate. And the next thing I need to do is to actually fill in the review. So there's the three fields. The first of all will be the comment.
I can give a rating being 125 and I can suggest a next step. In this case, I think it's a really good profile and I'd like to proceed with this candidate. So I click proceed. And the next thing I do is click save. Once I've done that, I have saved the review. At this point, I can still make changes. So if I'd like to add a little bit more, So the next thing I need to do is actually send in the review. I can do so by clicking here on this send review button. Again, I can go back to the main page, clicking on reviews, and I can do the same thing here. So I can check the checkbox at her name and then click send the reviews or multiple reviews. So in the review portal, you don't have to review all the candidates at once. You can just log in and out, come back at a later time, maybe adjust the review before finalizing it and sending it in. So now I'm going to send the review. I get a confirmation message. That means that once you send it in, it will no longer be editable, but you can still review the applications and the dates until the due date. If you don't want to see this message again, you can just click don't show this message again. It's okay with me. I can send in the review now. And here you can see that the review uh, has status will be adjusted. If you refresh the screen, you can see that the review has now been completed. So at this point, I can no longer edit it. So let's have a look again at Katy's profile. It says right here, your review has been completed. I can see what I wrote, but I cannot make any changes anymore. However, I can still view all the documentations and the profile of this candidate. So once I've completed, you can here see in the middle column what to do that is. So I still have time until July 28. So until July 28, this uh, candidate profile will be available for me to see. I have completed my review. So now basically I can go back uh, to be a recruiter again. I'm now back in the system and I can see that a candidate has been reviewed. I can see this by the little icon right there, which means that the candidate is pending team review. So let's say you have a very long list of candidates and I want to easily see which candidates are being reviewed and what their status is. You can do so by clicking here on the pill icon, which will also tell you by a number how many candidates are currently being reviewed. And this, by clicking on this pill, it will take you to a page which will show you only the candidates that are being reviewed right now. So as you can see right here, here's candidate Kathy van Dam, and I can see the review that has been made by Stephen Rogers. So really good candidate profile, five stars. The suggested next step is to proceed with this candidate. So basically what I can do now is just click on the candidate's name to go to the candidate profile and go ahead with the next step. So I could suggest invite for an interview, for instance. Now, when I'm on the candidate profile, I also have the possibility to see the reviews that have been completed. You can do so by clicking here on the T review tab and it will give you the same information as on the other page. However, on the candidate profile page this time. So this will tell you, OK, reviewer Stephen Rogers has completed the review and this is the comment that Stephen Rogers has added. Now, as a recruiter, I can also add my own review if I would like. So I have all my reviews in one place and I can do so by clicking here on add own review. It's a similar screen that you've seen with the review portal. I can add my comment, add a rating, and also I can suggest a, a next step right here. So I click on save and then my review has been added. So now you can see that it's me, that is my admin and Stephen Rogers, my review and Stephen Rogers' review. So everything is visible right here on this um, tab. Now, when I was sending out the review to Stephen Rogers, it sent out an email. <clears throat> So if you go back to communication, then you can see that the email that was sent to Stephen Rogers is logged right here. So it's also part of the communication history that you can see right here.